All right. Whole I have the first appearance of Oracle. $60. But the reason why it's $60, it's a double cover. A lot of people collect these double covers because um, they're extremely rare, and it usually does a lot extra, it puts a lot so added it's on a, the price. It's a miss, is that? It's a miss buy. 23 So right. two covers were bound onto the book? Is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, yep. Oh. The, the, the thing is, is like, it's a Suicide Squad. I have almost that entire run, and I'm like, I, I just don't remember any other book in that run being more than... The first one being around 50. Yep. And the one that's a tie-in for uh, Barbara Gordon getting uh, her yep. spine crushed. And, and this, is her, this is Barbara Gordon as Oracle. As Oracle. Okay. Yeah. So now, here's, here's one cover. You flip it over, and there's your second cover. When, if you get this graded, you'll get two grades. But they put the, the, the inside covers, the yeah, the highest graded. Yeah. Most likely, it's usually the inside cover. I sold a, I sold a Fantastic Fork um, that had a double cover. The outside was trashed. And then when I flipped open the inside, the cover was beautiful. I got like a very fine price for it because the inside cover was so nice. And the pages were, were nice, but the outside was, was, was trashed. Here's my Suicide Squad. 19, 20, 22, 24, 25. <laughs> <laughs> All around it, baby. Yep, so, yep, um, so the pages are white. They look good. I already saw the Booster Gold number one. Well, someone um, Facebook made right when I because I posted last night some of the stuff that I had I had priced up on Facebook. Blue Beetle number one, first appearance. Well, that's not technically that's the first DC. DC, yeah. And DC just bought all the rights to I the. I think they got Charlton. all the Charlton stuff. Yeah, they just bought yep. it. Okay. All the characters of Watchmen were supposed to be those Charlton characters. Yep. And uh, he, they said, "No, we got other plans for them." So then he made all the Watchmen characters, yeah. but they were supposed to be all of those characters, Blue Beetle instead of. You know, so-and-so. Right. I'm going to handle Blue 70. Beetle as a watchman. Uh, we got Teen Titans number one. The new Teen Titans number one. A complete set, one one through three of He-Man, the Masters of the Universe. Uh, this is the first miniseries from DC. Amazing Spider-Man 163. 137. Then I got uh, Uncanny X-Men 123. This one's better than the this one's better than the one that I have up on the wall right now. No, yeah, that looks uh, really clean. Yep. yep. Then I got 140. A little Windigo Windigo action. There's a fifty dollar book here. Oh, I put the it was one away they put up there, the first John Byrne X Men. Then we got Crime Does Not Pay. Mike, I know you like this. I know I know I know Eric likes this sort of stuff too. Yeah. What number is it? Number sixty seven. It's thirty dollars. That's feasible. You can just take that. What's that Phantom Stranger going for? Fifteen dollars, number two. Number two? Mm, no, nah, I'm gonna pass on that. Yeah. What about this one though? If I can, I can hear this calling you guys. I know it's. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've got four or five crime doesn't pay issues at the house. You sure. I think you uh, bought. I think you bought a crime doesn't pay off of me. Once, I probably I think. Yeah. have. All right, we got a we got a Captain America 130. It's twenty bucks. Daredevil 94. That's that's a twenty dollars. The first. Thing. 92 is the first appearance of Black. All right, we got a, we got a Captain America 130. It's 20 bucks. Guido in the, in the run. Yep. All right, Cap, what, Cap, what was that? What was one, that Cap? Cap was 130. 15 cents. Oh, my goodness. It was before I was collecting comics. I get mad when they went up to 15 cents. <laughs> <laughs> Daredevil, we good? Um, 94. We're, uh, we're, 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 technology, we're, we're held up right now for some technology. 20, ah, uh, throw it in the pile, I'll take it. All right. You need Suicide Squad? We still want that? Uh, Look at the smile on that asshole. 60, it's a double cover though. Yes, right. I want it. It might, I mean, it might sit in the folder for a week. Yeah. All right, done. Right, I mean, obviously, if it wasn't a double cover, it wouldn't be $60. Yeah, yeah you know, it's, yeah, but, but it's around, it would be around the $30, $35 range. I mean, because it's in, I mean, you can look at it. It's in beautiful condition. Yeah. Captain Marvel, the, the male Captain Marvel, $7. Wow. I'm good. The Incredible Hulk, number 174, $15. Not even checking. Okay. That's a $20 one. No one claims that I will. <laughs> I was just going to do it. <laughs> oh, you want to take it? Yeah. Okay. It's, yep. This is this is show and tell at the CBP. All right. All right. We got a we got Man Thing number one, volume two. Then we got a Marvel team up, Marvel team up number one seventeen with the Wolverine. 
Then I've got a Marvel Superheroes featuring Hulk Samarina. Um, I only brought, I, I mean, I know the reprints, but just the, the cover is a, cl a classic, just a classic change cover. So it's $7. Oh, that's uh, Jim Starlin doing Kirby Crackle. Yeah. Anything where you get the Hulk changing from banner up to the hulk people just like to collect those covers if you you know even if they're not buying hulk they'll they, you know it's just a certain it's just a certain cover that people collect you know you can get this for, for seven bucks instead of the tales to astonish that it was in that's probably a couple hundred dollars and then we have i have a secret wars newberry comics number one number one variant i'll take it then i got a star wars bounty hunters first appearance of tonga and then i got a spider-man miles morales couple kylo ren number twos first print and second print believe it or not they're both the same they're both the same price 10 bucks oh, blows my mind people are going after third fourth fifth six printings or oh, the print run on the six printing was like only like four thousand yeah. so that's more rare no that means it added on to the first printing yeah, of, what, like, of, of what you had right first, second yeah. third fourth and fifth print number totals then just tack that onto the back. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> yep. I know. I know. Understand it either. I don't know who came up with it. This and I get Kyle Ren number four, sure just a five dollar book. <laughs> right, right. I'm ready to go say. I'm gonna say it had to be someone at Mile High Comics, you know, because they're always finding a scam to make yep. someone yep. to someone uh, more valuable than what a book really is. But for some reason, though, everyone just jumps on it well, and jumps on the bandwagon and and, and oh does it. God, you know, it's. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna look this. Yep. And these are other. I had, these are all other Iron Man too. I'm I have probably one. I'm probably going to take a lot of these Iron Man when they get over there. Okay. But I just Ghost is going to be in the new yep. Thunderbolt, so I want to grab them now to fill yep. it in. Yeah, yeah, that, that's not his first appearance. No, so no, that's no, a, no, yeah. That's a, yeah, I just it was like two seventeen, two nineteen, or yeah, twenty one. Yeah, it's got a white cover. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, now you got a Masters of the Universe but number one. Ghost was only in like more beat up than four or five issues in the eighties, right? I remember when he was in the Thunderbolts when he came up in the, when he came into the Thunderbolts uh, in the two thousands at some point. That window of like I don't give a, I could, I, I'm so fed up with Marvel and oh, I mean, the ninety it, the, the ninety two different X Men titles. And I think it was there. in the the Dark Avengers too when, at that time um, when when Norman Osborn was in charge right. was in charge of the Avengers. And then like I said, these are all. Then I had some other filler stuff too. Well, not a couple of filler things, but yeah. Um, I got the uh, I got more DC Comics present, presents. I got uh, number one forty. Like I said, these that's just a five dollar book. First appearance of Ambush Bug. Bug. Yeah, I have a bunch of New Teen Titans, or a bunch of early issues. None of the the, the issue number ones. The this was the biggest one, and this is a second appearance of Deathstroke here. Your, I'm just out of curiosity. What is your uh, New Teen Titans one going for? Yeah, uh, right, yeah, forty dollars right bucks. there. Yep. And that's that's what I got priced up, like I said, except for the few books that went up on the wall. Yep. So yeah, so now I got three new Teen Titans left. The first appearance of Terra. Oh, just throw them in a pile. I'll take them all. I don't care. All right, there you go. And these got cheaper as it went on. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what it should be. Wednesday's always a great day to come to come. Yeah, but it's always before payday. It's like yeah. I'm much more fluent with my money on payday. Well, you seem to be okay with your money right now. Just well, put it in the box till payday. You know. Yeah. That's what you, you know, that's the sort of service you get at the Comic Book Palace. Amazing Fantasy 15, I bought it at an auction on eBay. No pictures. It was trashed. It was, it's a .5. It's graded a .5. I asked the guy, uh, is the cover connected to the book? And he goes, yes. Then when it came in, it was connected, but it was taped. I emailed him. I emailed him back and says, hey, I just want to let you know, because he says he's never sold, he's not sold books, and he's, he got these, these are all, his grandfather passed away. And uh, I told him, hey, just for future reference, um... If someone asks if the cover is connected, it means by the staples, not by tape. And he says, oh, I'm really sorry about that. Do you want to send it back? He says, no, I got a great deal. I no, hardly know a bit. I, sp I spent less than 300 for the four, for the five or six wow. Spider-Man books. And they were all under 20. You, you know, I mean, all the issues were under 20. So, and one was the Amazing Fantasy 15. But when the, but the guy was apologetic for it, he says, no, I just want you, because you're putting a lot of auctions up, I just want you to know, because you're going to have some jerks out there. They're going to go, what are you doing? You're ripping me off. You're right. This guy sends me a check back for $50. It says, uh, "Hey, I'm really sorry for I'm really sorry for uh, for this." I emailed him back. I ripped the check up. I says, "Dude, take the fifty dollars and put it back in your account because I'm not cashing this check." I told you I am happy with the deal I got on these bucks. I go, I wasn't looking for any money back. I but 
I did that just for your own for your own knowledge. Um, I'm happy with that. It says keep the keep the fifty dollars. The check is ripped up, so don't don't uh, don't take it out of your checking account. I appreciate you trying to fix the problem, but there is no problem. I bought the lot because I wanted the Amazing Fantasy 15. Right. I sold those other books for more than the two hundred ninety dollars that it costs that it costs for the for all of them. I sold those other books for more than that already. I basically I got that for free, you know. So I'm not. I don't want his fifty dollars. I don't want his fifty dollars back because there was no pictures, and the guy had a feedback rating of seven. Um, I don't think he got what he should have even got for it. You, you know, it's uh. But I just happened to be the high. I was a high bidder on it, so. <laughs> I was looking for yeah, the night cr for a nightcrawler run, specifically yeah, the one where he's yeah. on the pirate ship. Can't remember the exact name of it, but a big nightcrawler nerd. But a while ago, we had one, and it was Hawkeye and Ant Man. They don't have it on the wall anymore, but I got a copy of it. It's Hawkeye, like there's an Ant Man's on the arrow, on the tip of the arrow, and it's pretty neat. But yeah. Again, anything with Nightcrawler, I'm kind of drawn to. He's the first X-Men that I really... He's the X-Men that got me really into the group. And X-Men's the group that got me really into Marvel. I have no clue, actually. there. I, I couldn't put my finger on it. I've been trying to figure it out for a while, but it's always been, like, him that I've been drawn to. <laughs> I have like three figures of him and a few of his runs. Yeah, actually, I hated the X Men Two movie. Who the fuck said that? Specifically because Nightcrawler was so sweaty during the whole thing and made me. S I hated it. That is my least favorite reincarnation of Nightcrawler. Apocalypse. I don't mind that. I don't. I like how you can actually see his scars, and I really appreciate the younger um, portrayal of Nightcrawler. But again, that's because. I'm younger myself, but that one, X-Men Evolution, I know that he's a goofy kid, not really like his comic book self, but that one makes me happy too. Uh, Wolverine and the X-Men, the, the show there, that was a good reincarnation of him. I liked when he got together with Scarlet Witch in that one. That was cool. Uh, I will most likely be walking out of here with something. The question is what? That's the, that is cool. I like that. Oh, yeah. Yep. My dad knows me well. This is a good series. Actually, I love the way that Nightcrawler's drawn in here. I wonder if he's fucking... I'm not a big fan of how Xavier is drawn here, but... It's probably not in here, which will make myself look... This is another good incarnation. I don't know if I had seven or not, because I think that was like... Gambit's another good one. You can either find really good art of Nightcrawler or really bad art. Okay. It all depends on what book you pick up. I like it when... I like him with the curly hair, specifically like it when he has curly hair, when he's tall and, like, gangly. I'm not a big fan of the ones with yeah, the beard, though. That one, like, throws me off. I'm like, I don't think you'd have a beard. The, last one. Um, the six She-Hulk has um, Nightcrawler in it. Show me. And if you have any of the put it aside for death. This is awesome. So this is really cool because the first comic that I, that I started collecting was She-Hulk. That was the first. It was a sensational She-Hulk, and that was, a, that was the book that got me into collecting comics. Um, and I have the whole run. And then Nightcrawler is obviously my favorite character, so it's so, so cool. My uncle actually sent me a picture of this cover, so I was freaking out when I saw it. It's the coolest thing ever. So, yeah. Um, the sixth She-Hulk has um, Nightcrawler in it. Show me. And um, if you have any of you the put it aside for death. Yeah, got the tie in. Uh, this is awesome. So this is really cool because the first comic that I, that I started collecting was She-Hulk. That was the first. It was a sensational She-Hulk, and that was, a, that was the book that got me into collecting comics. Um, and I had the whole run. And then Nightcrawler is obviously my favorite character, so it's so, so cool. My uncle actually sent me a picture of this cover, so I was freaking out when I saw it. It's the coolest thing ever. So, yeah. What are we looking at here? This. Uh, that's issue one of, um, I think it was a four-issue or five-issue series. So that was, that's the one that's got a little value to it. The rest are just like four dollar books, you know? It's kind of neat, though. He's got what, Iron Man suit on and Captain America's yep. uh, shield and... I can open up bowls anywhere. 
See, he said this year he's getting Spider Man there, there, and there. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Somebody was pretty clever and thinking up all that. It was the 70s, what do you think? Probably on drugs. <laughs> yes! I got the Band of War um, number part four and the Band of War part two, 25 and 26 of Thor right. here. Um, the other one that I had, they had was Band of War Alpha Omega or something. I don't have any more of those. Though. All right, I think I got the first one. And that must have been three that you're talking about, so we'll figure it out. All right. Thank you, Glenn, as always. Yep. Hey, how are you? I like this cover. That's a I like the skeletons, and but it's all the X Men. This right here, the Uncanny X Men is probably my favorite. Draw like art style for the X Men because of all the detail. You don't see this kind of like characteristics in them as the time goes on. Like the attention to um, Storm's hair. It's not. It's it's actually. That's, I love that. I love when she has the shortcut hair like that. It's either long and straight or long and curly. And I love, like, that's so cool. I love that. Love to see characters drawn in a way that they aren't usually drawn. Like, the way that Rogue is drawn, like, all, you know, kind of looks a little bit proper in this cover. And the way that Storm is drawn, like, punky like that. Like, you don't usually see them drawn like that. And I absolutely love it. I love to see those small changes in the character. And then here's the curly hair nightcrawler that I love. So good. Look at that, you never see that. Like the attention to Colossus's figure and how they don't skip out on any detail. Same thing with the Wolverine, you can see like the the um like attention to even in his legs, you know, it's just fantastic. I don't think that any art is bad or better than another. I think that they all just have different qualities to them. I think that it's just a quality that I like some of the quirks in this drawing, this style of drawing. I like some of the quirks in the other one, but I don't know. I've just always been drawn to this. My girls, I love them. I'm, I'm not having any expectations. I have ground floor expectations. I, that way, there I will be happy no matter what happens. One of them had like the worm. That was smushed in the book. And yeah, there was a couple yeah. different covers, too. I have exactly $2. No, I got it, honey. I got it. Sorry. I have a card. I can give her a card. I was card. giving cash. Um, Dad's going to take care of it. Let him. Yeah, no, I'll take care of it. Oh, no, you keep keep that. Nope. <laughs> I got it, honey. Nope. You can buy dinner. How's that? All right. That'll do. No, a lot of this is, well, yeah, some of this stuff is just stuff. Um, where we just need to take it, we just need to take a few hours and just clean some of it out. Some of it just needs to be moved upstairs. Um, yeah, some of the stuff is people hadn't picked up stuff. Some of it's just collections we started to go through, haven't finished going through. Um, but it's funny because I know it's here. I mean, I put that here today. I got some sports car stuff, but there's some stuff here that I need that's there as I need it sometimes during the day. And there's some stuff that's just got to be recycled. Other things go on that's more important in the day than taking care of that. You know, it's uh, whether it's customers coming out, you're filling, you're filling stuff that is sold out. So you just don't, uh, you just kind of put it to the, you just put it to the back burner. And eventually you knock something over once too many times. You get pissed. You say, all right, screw it. That's it. And you do it before you open, you know, a couple hours before you open or after you shut and close it. Because you can't do it while you're open. Because a lot of this stuff you're going to move out. But when people come back in, you move it back in. So you, you don't get anything done. So, yeah, it's just a matter of finding the, the right time. Uh, you know, because if I'm going to work here late, do I clean up this shit? Or do I take four more boxes from upstairs and find what I need to fill in the back issues that's actually going to make money while we're doing that? So, you know, it's just... Uh, it's it's a, just a matter of it's a matter of having having the right the right time the free the right free time for it.